2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Company and there is a third party company, uh, third party company who manages any of your services. So when I'm saying any of your services, maybe the he man uh, that company, the third party company manages your payroll. Maybe the third company, third party company manages your travel management system. Maybe that manages your uh, logistics. Maybe that manages your time sheet means um, punch in punch out time and all and now you want to and so taking considering to one of those let's say there is a third party company who manages your logistics so that means they have a separate system altogether in place and you do not have access to their system okay usually they will not allow you to do uh, like directly connect to their system to read the data most of the times so now what happens is think of a situation you are trying to build a, a you are trying to integrate a existing system with a existing your system with another system so for example let me uh, let's think of this uh, i am a company, uh, let's say I'm a Walmart, okay, and uh, in a Walmart you see a lot of sales representatives, sales reps on the floor, right? Now, uh, I want to see a report where I will calculate the number of like, sales done by each salesperson and based on that probably I'll uh, decide on some incentives, but on the same time I want to do I want to check like what was the punch in time, what was the punch out time, what was the like different activities of that salesperson in terms of time management. So usually this time management is again taken care of by some other other company altogether. So let's say XYZ company who does the time management for mm, Walmart. So I want to see a report where I have a data coming from time management system and also data from my within my system. So I'm trying to integrate two systems, two different systems here. So when I'm trying to integrate two different systems, I have to have data from the other system. So that XYZ company who manages my time management. Now most of the times this XYZ company will not allow me to log in to his system and read the data. So then how do I get the data? Many of the times what happens is they will process the data and send a file. And then once I receive the file, I will start processing the data at my end. So anyone who couldn't understand the concept or any question, Okay, it seems you understood the concept. Okay, now let's think of this. I have a file coming in. I have a file, employees file. Okay, so let's think of this. I am getting um, this file from a third party 
which is called employees and then I want to process that file, do some changes and then I want to create another flat file. So this is a very simple mapping where I want to, to read from a data from one file and want to create another flat file. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll go to source analyzer. Now many of the okay let's let's consider that I have got a sample file from my source system based on which I can do my mapping. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am right now in a source analyzer where I will import the structure of the file. So it doesn't matter if the file has a data or not. I am just trying to create the metadata of the source. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll do a source and since I have a sample file, what I'm going to do is I'll do an import from file. And then I'll go to computer source. Let's see files. Employees. Now, if you look to this file, my first line of the file is nothing but the header, basically the column names. So, what I'm telling is import the field names from first line. Okay, and if you see this option, and uh, this is delimited and fixed width. So, right now, I'm telling this file is a delimited file. Then next, what kind of delimiter is used in this file? I am saying it's comma delimited. Why? If I go to the file and open it one more time, if you see, all the data is separated by one comma. So this is a this is called a comma delimited file. Okay, so what I'm saying is to Informatica is this is my comma delimited file. Do next. Now, Informatica will automatically give you. Let's do finish. Then you'll understand. Okay, uh, let's. I already have this one, so I'll rename this one as employees underscore. New. Okay. okay. Now, Informatica reading, looking into the data, Informatica automatically gives some data type. Okay. Because let's say if I look to the data, what Informatica, by looking to the first field, Informatica understood, okay, this most probably this is a number data type and the maximum length for this one is 3. So that not necessarily that is always true. What I can do is maybe I want to make my first name as 20 because right now the maximum length is 11 but in future more characters can come in in the first name and last name. For email address I want to make it as 20. For phone number I don't want to make it as number I want to make it as a string. So what I'm trying to do here is I am changing the data types of my source columns, okay, and fixing it. So now, once this is done, I will press Control S, which saves this. Now, if I go here, if you go here in the flat file, you will see one source is created which is called employees underscore new. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to create another target. Now for the target, 
I am creating the target as a flat file. Okay, anyone have any question until now? Sure, man. Mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, would you be able to send us these CSV files later so I can, like, whatever you do, I can replicate it right away, you know, practice okay, it. Sir. Once I get the test mail from everyone, I'll have the email IDs, I'll send this CSV file to everyone. Sure, thanks. So, any questions? And, uh, uh, Shobhan, what you want to try to understand is basically you are trying to import one uh, file, um, the data from one file to Informatica right now, correct? No. no. I am trying to import the structure of my source file. There is no question of data right now. Oh, okay. Okay, so because okay, even even if when I tell Informatica that okay this is my source, go ahead and read the data from that source. I have to tell Informatica like what are the column names, what would be the data type, right? So this is nothing but the metadata of my source. Okay, how does the how did the length of uh, each of the field get uh, read? Will it read it automatically? Yes. So what Informatica does is Informatica went to this, when I he pointed this file, Informatica went to this file and he, he under, uh, until he got this first comma, he understood this is my first field. And just because yeah. this field, uh, right now this field has, the maximum length of this field is 3, so he made the length as 3 and looking to the data he understood this is a number. Yeah, that's correct. Now you increase the length for one of the field, right? Now we are when yeah, I increase the length for first name, last name, email. I increase the length for these fields. Correct. And how will he read the data then? See, it's not a fixed width. It's it's comma delimited. So that comma delimited. The beauty of comma delimited is even if I increase the length. In, when Informatica will actually start reading the data, he will go through go through commas. He will not go through that length whatever I specify. The length, oh. the import, but the important the length is important because right now it is a flat file, right? It's not a database. So right now mm -hmm. you don't have a data which is 20 character long. But let's say tomorrow you have got a file which is something like this let's say 207 and first name is like this which is this this long mm -hmm. so to make sure that I don't truncate this data what I'll do is I have to increase like I have to I should have enough space in the metadata Getting oh, I get it now mm -hmm. yes so that's why this is nothing but telling Informatica that. So if you say 20 uh -huh. is length 20, and let's think of this. I I I said Informatica that my first name is length 20, and I made it comma delimited, right? And my first name came as 25 characters. Let's consider this is 25 characters. Mm -hmm. so what Informatica will do is he will take the first 20 characters and truncate the rest. Even if the comma is uh, further? Yes. Yeah, even, even okay. if you have a comma. So that's why okay. I have to make sure that this length should be good enough to accommodate future data as well. Okay, got it. Got it. Yeah. So, any other question from anybody else? After you've done this, do you really check uh, if uh, if you have got all the fields in the table? Mm. Uh, I didn't get your question. Okay. Um, now you've done this. Now, in this case, uh, on the file, it has only like. Uh, 12 columns, 10 to 12 columns, mm -hmm. but 
what if a file has some 50 columns in it and how do we make sure like if we have got all the 50 columns uh, to the Informatica? You get it? Yeah. So column wise you will when you import it from file all the columns will come by default. Okay. So don't worry about the column. The important part here is your length. Okay. So when you get the requirement to do a development, you will get a document which is called a data mapping document, which I'll come later on in the training. I'll tell what is data mapping doc document and how it looks like. But that data mapping document will tell you what should be the expected length of each of these columns. Okay, got it. From the source and what should be the expected length of each of the columns in the target. Okay. Okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I'm planning to do. I, I am planning to create another file, target file, which is. Um, I'll do some 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 kind of transformation and create another target file. Now this target file is not present, right? I just cannot do to go target and import from file. I cannot do that because I don't have that target file with me. Not even I don't have the structure. So what I'll do is I'll do target and uh, where is create? Create and then I have to give some name. Let's give the name as employee underscore new. Okay. Create. Done. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll add the columns. So, what columns I'm adding is, let's say, first one is EMP underscore ID. Second column is EMP underscore full, un full underscore name. Third column is, let's say, Salary. Okay, let's make it net salary. Net underscore salary. And fourth column is let's say my department name. Underscore ID. Okay. Now I want to make my uh, the department ID maybe let's say I want to make it string 5 for full name I want to make it string uh, string 40 20 plus 20 40 for net salary it's 10 department ID is 10 that's fine okay apply now I want to make this one as fixed with not the comma delimited because I want uh, I want to see how the fixed with file looks like okay So uh, I want to tell you one more thing in the source is in case if you do not, let's think of a situation that you do not have a sample file from where you can import the file names, oh, sorry, uh, the column names. So in that case, how would you create that sample file structure? The way we do it is go to source, go to create and give some name, maybe file underscore, let's just give test, okay? And this is a flat file. But you have a mapping document which says what would be the uh, column names and how much would be the length. But you don't have a sample file from which you can import it. So what I'm going to do is I will go to create and then I'll start creating the column names and data type. Okay. So this is how we create the source and target. So, uh, 
I think we will uh, not uh, since we have a class one more class tomorrow. So I'll not take take any more today because one of, one of you do not have install Informatica installed in your system. So I want you to practice. So what I'm going to do is I will send you. H2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com.